when it comes to reactionary studios out there, one name takes the cake. This being Sony. Originally, they were like, no, Venom's got to be PG-13 because the kids love Venom. Here comes Joker making a billion as a rated R film. Venom 2's got to be rated R. I mean, this was a no-brainer from the start, but let's talk about why Venom 2 really needs to be R-rated. Like, it has to be. So the Venom 2 producer, Matt Tomac, who of course some of you might recognize, he's been with Spider-Man for quite a long time now, responsible for a lot of the live action stuff, recently was in an interview. He was talking about the success of Sony. Presumed success? Anyways, Joker got brought up because Joker is very successful. Joker is also an R-rated film that broke a billion dollars. Naturally, it's the Joker. That should have been R-rated always. Like, yeah, they never second-guessed that because it made sense. Venom, on the other hand, you know, Sony was looking at that being like, well, if we make it R-rated, maybe people won't go see it. Kids will love Venom, so we don't know how it's going to go. Who really knows how we approach this film? So ultimately, the first Venom was PG-13. Now, Tomek talks about this. I will link it in the description down below for you guys and toss it up on the screen. And here's what he said about an R-rated future. I mean, I think you always have to think about it. Now that that works, having said that, our movie worked really well. Our franchise exists as it is. And I don't think anybody is looking to just say, hey, they did it, we have a place in that world. So it isn't like suddenly everybody's considering what to do with the rating. I think what Joker does is tell you that you can succeed. Now this goes off some uh, back and forth that was happening in the last um, couple months really. Recently, Avi Arad, the producer, you know, Crazy Uncle Avi, he said, no, it's gonna stay PG-13 because they want to move Venom merchandise and appeal to a wider audience. Now, he's not directly saying no, and if you read between the lines, I think they're gonna have that discussion again. Again, you're introducing Carnage into Venom 2. Carnage into Venom 2. How much Carnage can you have with PG-13. I see the same people that are hating on the MCU that are soon going to introduce Blade and Moon Knight and Ghost Rider into a PG-13 Disney Plus world saying that Venom should absolutely stay PG-13 along with Carnage because it works. But Carnage is literally more violent than those characters combined. So I'm kind of at a loss for words and I'm guessing they're probably thinking about it, looking at it realistically, and they're going to do some testing and see how the audience responds. And maybe if they can get away with the same amount of money and budget, and produce the same type of film with Andy Serkis and see, you know, with the test audiences on how it goes as an R-rated film, they could do it. And always, you know, films do shoot a little bit more violent sometimes just in case. For example, Expendables throughout its history, if you guys remember the Expendables, that bounced back and forth and eventually they were just like, just make it rated R, it's pointless not to. So again, this can be done and I think it's gonna come down to, you know, after shooting, when you start testing with audiences, what they decide to do. The fact that they're not just outright saying, yes, it's PG, 13, I think that gives you an indicator that they're thinking about it.